Hi guys, so we're going to look here at the intersection of three planes. Now, planes can intersect in a few different ways. This picture shows three planes intersecting at a point. This picture shows three planes um, intersecting at a line. And this is three planes that actually don't intersect at all. Now, this um, intersection of planes is very much related to and connected to the system of linear equations lessons that I've done in the past. So here, if I, when I have this system of linear equations with three variables, what I have is a system or what I have is three planes. So I have a system of equations that is describing three different planes. So if you haven't looked at that lesson or you're not familiar with that lesson, you have to go and do that first because I'm actually not going to show you the solutions of these by hand and um, that's done in the previous lesson. What I do want you to see though is that by solving this, if I can solve these um, the system of equations and find one solution, so a value of x, y and z that satisfies the three of them, there's only one solution, then I have this, I have this one unique solution. If I solve it and there's infinite an infinite number of solutions, I have this situation where they meet at a line. So this is a bit like, um, I think I've given the analogy of a book. Imagine you open up pages of a book, well, they all meet along the line there. And then a situation like this, where um, there is no solutions. There's lots of different kind of situations where, a plane can, where planes can have no solutions. Um, like imagine th three planes are parallel, there's going to be no solutions. Or even two planes are parallel, and one of them is not parallel um, or even none of them are parallel you could like this situation neither of them are parallel but the line this line here is actually parallel to say I don't know this this plane here something like that so if this line is parallel to this plane they'll never they won't all intersect together okay so let me just show you those three examples that I'm talking about in GeoGebra so this is the this is the first one. So here are three planes, and they're all going to meet at a point. Now I actually have the point. It's, this is the example I'm about to do for you, and the answer is one negative one three. So they meet at that point. So you can see it's on this plane, it's on this plane, and it's on this plane. So the point is on all three planes. That is the point of intersection of the three planes. And when you solve this, which we're going to do in a second, you will get an x, y, and a z. Um, that and that is the point. Uh, when planes meet at a line, it looks something like this. So it's th these are the next three I've drawn. These three. So you can see the meeting, they all meet on that line there. It's a bit like when two planes meet, but three planes can also meet at a line like that. Again, you might see my analogy of the book, pages of a book. Um, although, yeah, look, this doesn't have to actually look exactly like a book in this situation. But, as, well, as you know, those planes go on forever. So they're all meeting at a line. And then finally, um, finally, let me, let me just change one of these planes. Imagine I make this nine, then let's make it a bigger number like let's make it 30 then what's happened here is these planes are not actually going to these planes are not actually going to meet um, anywhere now this plane is going to meet this plane this plane is going to meet this plane and this plane is going to meet this plane but they're not all going to meet together so there's no intersection of three planes and that's the situation that we have no um, no solutions so as I said, I'm not going to do this without a calculator. I've done this in a previous lesson. Make sure you know how to do it. You need to be able to solve this system of equation without a calculator. I'm going to do it with a calculator because I'm lazy. Um, menu, add calculator. Menu, algebra, solve system of linear equations. Now I want three. Automatically gives me the Z. And then I just type them in x plus y plus z equals 3 x minus y plus z 
equals 5, and x plus y plus 2z equals 6. Press enter, and there I have my point. 1, negative 1, and 3. So when he says the point of intersection, the point of intersection is, and again guys, by hand, that takes a bit of time to do, but it's 1, negative 1, 3. 1, negative 1, 3. Okay, next question. Find the vector equation of the line of intersection of the three planes. Same thing. Uh, make sure you know how to do this without a calculator. Go and check my lessons on solving systems of linear equations. But this is going to have an infinite number of solutions. So we're going to use Gaussian elimination, and you get all you're going to get all zeros on the bottom, and then you have to let z equal t, and you bring in you bring in um, the parameter. But again, I'm going to do it by I'm going to use it with uh, by using my calculator. So I do menu, algebra, solve system of linear equations, three equations, and then again just type it in 2x minus 7y plus 5z equals 1. Um, 6x plus 3y minus z equals negative 1, negative 14x minus 23y plus 13z equals 5. Press enter and I get this. So what is this? Remember this is their way of this is their way of bringing in the parameters. So their parameter is um, c1, but that's what we're going to call t. So what we have is x equals x equals negative a twelfth minus a sixth t. So it's minus twelfth minus a sixth t. That's this negative a twelfth first minus t over 6 or a sixth t. Then the y value is minus a sixth plus um, two thirds t. So y is equal to minus, minus a sixth plus two thirds t. And finally, oh yeah, z is just going to equal t then. So z equals t. And we can write this. They want. They say find the vector equation of the line. So we want to write this in this form. Or equals. So I have um, negative a twelfth, negative a sixth, and zero plus t times um, negative a sixth, two thirds t. Um, two thirds, sorry, just two thirds because the t's here, and then one. And this, when we draw this, this is the equation of the line um, that passes through them. Now let's actually, I'll draw the, I'll, well, I won't do it, but I could, if you, if I was to draw that line in GeoGebra, now I have changed this. It was um, equals five. So this is equal to five. So that's the line. So if I was to draw that line on GeoGebra, um, it would give me that line where they meet along there. Okay, that's it. That lesson was quite short, as I said three times now, because I'm not, I didn't do it by hand, but you make sure you know how to do it by hand. Go back and watch my system of linear equations lesson where I actually talk, I actually mention, I say, when we do vectors, you'll understand what this means. So now you understand what it's all about. Okay, um, see you in the next video.